One thing you might not have known about me is that I am quite the hopeful romantic. And yes, I know it is <laughs> technically called the hopeless romantic, but I don't know why it's called that way because the hopeless romantic always has hope and love. So it's really hopeful romantic. So I'm gonna change the phrase, but that's beside the point. Being such a romantic, you know I love a good rom-com. I love, you know, going on dates and setting things up and surprising my wife with things. And I love a good love song, whether it be me writing them or covering love songs and hearing love songs on the radio. And Valentine's Day is a great <laughs> it's actually my favorite holiday because it's a beautiful holiday to express the love you have for people and you to receive love and you to share love now part of my tradition with Valentine's Day is I love writing a love song and releasing a love song it's a tradition of mine every year I, I specifically try to write a Valentine's Day song in fact some of my favorite songs have been like modern love that was a Valentine's Day song and we have everything was a Valentine's Day song like some of my favorite songs have come out of these songwriting sessions that being said in my gigs and when I go out and gig and play at restaurants and bars and stuff I play a lot of cover songs and I play a lot of love songs and they're really fun to play so today I wanted to actually give a breakdown on how you can as a musician release a cover song and get that cover song on Spotify hey if you're an original artist and you want to put your original music up there definitely consider doing that that's great so personally when I release my original music like my traditional Valentine's Day song I use DistroKid and I've been using them for a long long time and I really really like them now if you want to release your original music definitely consider using DistroKid as well but did you know that DistroKid also makes it super simple to release a cover song. Now with Valentine's Day, a lot of cover songs come up. There's a lot of great love songs, including Jacob Restituta love songs. Hey, say you want to release a cover of one of my songs. Get it on Spotify, put it on online, whatever the case is, Apple Music. DistroKid makes it super simple for you. Not only do they make it super simple to upload and release, but they actually handle all the licensing too, so you could stick to your creativity and just record the music. The benefit of a cover song, honestly, is that you don't have to think about writing the lyrics, which is currently the bane of my current existence in the sense that I I literally just got off of a writing session trying before filming this video trying to write my Valentine's Day song and I'm like banging my head up against the wall hey I, I honestly maybe I'll just release a cover song this year <laughs> oh it's already written bam you just you pick your favorite song and, and you express it in your own way that's the cool part about covers actually it's something I like to do is expressing it in my own way like I don't do it in the typical way that like it sounds just like the song I do it in the Jacob Restituto way but that being said I want to walk you through the process of releasing a cover song on DistroKid all right so we're gonna go to distrokid.com it's gonna look slightly different depending on the plan you have for example I have the musician plus plan but depending on the plan you have there might be different features if your site looks slightly different than mine consider checking out the different plans you can go to distrokid.com slash plans to check out the different options all right so let's release a track let's release a cover song okay so here we go Okay, so all this is going to look exactly the same as if you were releasing a song through DistroKid in the first place, which you would to put the genre, let's say it's, you know, uh, singer-songwriter. Singer-songwriter pop. We would put the album cover. All right, let's do something random. Pretend you're releasing a cover song of my song, Modern Love. We'll use that as an example for the album art. You just literally upload it. Super, super simple. Put your genre. Put the track title. We'll say Modern Love. Okay. Are you featuring anybody on this? Yes or no. If it's just you, then just leave it. If it is, you can put the featured artist name. For example, we could say my wife sings on the track. We could pretend Jamie Restituto, and it'll show you right there. Modern Love featuring Jamie Restituto. <laughs> Next, here we go. We got. Is it a radio edit? No. Is it other? No. You choose to upload the audio file, which we're not going to do right now because I'm not releasing one right this minute. Now, here's the very important part. I wrote the song. Well, technically I did, but if you were releasing a cover song of this song, you do another song wrote it. Okay, here we go. Cover songs are okay, but samples are probably not okay. Remixes are not okay. So you have to just kind of figure out what you fit into and make sure that you're actually following what they say. You could put the original artist name, which in my case, if you're covering my song, be Jacob Restituto. Original song title, Modern Love. Now, are there other songwriters? You can figure that out in the sense of like, you could go to genius.com, we'll, like as a lyric site, I'll show you a lot of the songwriters. Um, you could type it on like online, type in like songwriter credits. It should show all the songwriters. It might be helpful to get all the uh, songwriters on there. And then boom, you're ready. And then you keep going. Is it explicit lyrics? Nope. Radio edit? Nope. Instrumental? Nope. You could choose, oh, this is really cool. So say you're going to put it on like streaming platforms or like TikTok or Apple Music. You could choose where you want that music to start, which is super helpful, which would probably be the chorus. Choose how much you want it. And then you put like you if this is now a little bit more artist mapping linking the people's name like pages to their names. So for example, my wife doesn't have a Spotify page, but if she did, you would apply her like Spotify artist URL and just so that they can make sure that they're linking it to the right artist, which is actually super helpful. But if she doesn't, oh actually here, perfect. If she doesn't, you could just put that and they'll create one for her. 
Boom, you can go through if you want any of this information, which I always do the song recognition for all my songs I do like, because you get like things like putting okay. your song title name in cars or on like uh, Shazam and stuff. Like I always do this. Uh, you could check the other things, see if you were interested in that. And then boom, it automatically clicks the cover song license. And boom, 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 boom. And then bam, you hit done and then it's easy as that. Hopefully that walked you through the step-by-step -step process of <laughs> releasing this song. If you are interested and you're not signed up for DistroKid but would like to be signed up and would like to release original music or cover songs, definitely consider checking out the link down below. You could save 7% on your first year if you use my link. Hope that helped. Hope that walked you through it and I hope to hear. Actually, no, before we even say, I want to hear, if you do do this, I want to hear the song you released. Send me a text or the, the numbers down below or send me a DM. I would love to hear the cover songs that you're up to. Peace out. God bless and I'll see you in the next video.